But basically you're gonna find a, a group of fish that may be holding in some brush or maybe holding in some, some rocks, some stumps, standing timber, anything like that. That's good places to find these fish that, that are living in the winter. And you're gonna drop your bait straight down, maybe pitch it out 10 feet in front of your boat so it kind of sinks and pendulums down. But you're basically holding this bait directly under your trolling motor. So you're just holding it there. So you wanna sink it down, you know, follow up with your electronics or, or count it down if you don't have the live scope. You can even fish this way with 2D sonar. You know, a lot of guys fish this way with, with 2D sonar and just, just looking for fish. But a lot of guys caught them like this at, at Cherokee Lake in I think it's 2017. Um, you know, that's how the tournament was won. Jacob Wheeler won fishing this way, just fishing vertically with a Demiki rig with 2D sonar. So you're gonna drop your bait down there and you're gonna hold it about, I don't know, I'd say start about three feet above the bottom. Depending on your water clarity, generally this is a, a clear water technique. So those fish are gonna see it down there. Those fish are living on the bottom or close to it. And you're gonna drop it down there and hold it above them and just hold it there. Just no action, as still as you can be. Just hold it there and uh, just wait, just wait. You know, you're not doing, putting no action in the bait, just holding it still. And you know, allow, allow the boat to drift with the wind or anything, or current, anything like that, but you just hold it still. And the curiosity gets the best of these fish and, and they just can't resist. They come up and check it out. They'll either come up and eat it right away or they'll come up and check it out, go back to the bottom. Maybe a, one of his buddies will come up and check it out. And eventually you just hold it there long enough two or three of them will be up there fighting over it and one of them is gonna eat it and they can't stand it. So it is a great way to catch those fish vertically. I caught a bunch of fish this way at the Clarks Hill tournament this year, Clarks Hill Major League Fishing Invitational, um, just fishing vertically for spotted bass. So these spotted bass were sitting on a little bit of a break. They were sitting off the end of a point on this break and they were glued to the bottom. You know, you couldn't see them if, if you looked at live scope until you dropped a bait down there. And you drop a bait down there and the bottom comes to life. All these fish start coming up and uh, they, they just would not hit it if you dropped it to the bottom. If you dropped a drop shot down there or a Ned rig or anything like that, they would they would just follow it and look at it, but not bite it. So I dropped the Demiki rig down there with the three inch shad shaped worm. And I'm just sitting there holding it, holding it still. Finally, one comes up and eats it. And I got that school fired up and I caught them on like 10, 12 drops in a row, just sitting there on spot lock, dropping straight over the side of the boat. Stop your bait a little bit above them, hold it there for a second, and then here they come, they come up and meet it. So like I said, this is a vertical technique. So I still use the same rod, a seven foot two medium heavy hex, but if you were gonna change your rod, this would be the time to use a little bit shorter rod because you're fishing vertically, you know, you, you want a little bit shorter rod because you don't want to get it too far away from the boat. So you could drop down to a, a 610 or a seven foot rod even for, for the, more, the more vertical approach. Same equipment line wise, you know, you definitely want to want to use that light fluorocarbon line. This is a clear water technique. Um, but when you're fishing vertically, I really like to upsize my weight because there's no need to use a light weight that just takes forever to sink down there. So I'll jump up to a, at least a quarter. I'll start with a quarter, but if I'm fishing real deep, I'll even use a three ace or a half ounce jig head just to get that down there to him as soon as possible. And Cause you're holding it above them anyway. So it's not like that you need a real slow fall. You just need to get that bait down there to him as quick as possible and then just hold it above them and, and wait for them to find it and come up and eat it. So 